Hey, welcome everyone, and welcome to a brand new project where we have a look at Node.js. Now, I could imagine that many of you already know what Node.js is, but I find it very important to explain it at the very beginning of a project what we're actually doing so that everyone is able to follow along. As this is an introductory series and not anything for the pros doing it since five years. So what is Node.js? Node.js is a runtime which allows us to run JavaScript code on the server. Now you might think, okay, that's new because we mostly use JavaScript here in the client, in a browser. We use it to enhance user experience by opening up modals, by providing live validation and so on. To, so to make our applications very reactive. That is where we mostly use JavaScript and where it is very powerful. We use it either plain and plain JavaScript form or we use frameworks like jQuery or Angular 1 to create single page applications or React or many more of course. So this is how we use JavaScript in most of the cases. Now to understand how JavaScript code can run on the server, obviously we have to think about how does it run in a client, in a browser. Now the developers of browser applications, they need to provide certain engines which interpret the JavaScript code they encounter when loading a web page and then they need to run this code and run it correctly and render the web page react to user events and so on. So we need an engine to execute that code. Such an engine is Chrome's V8 engine. That is basically just a JavaScript engine developed by the guys at Google who set up this Chrome browser and they well recognized that JavaScript used to be very slow and they thought they could speed it up if you would transpile the JavaScript code into machine code and execute it there. So in a nutshell, this is uh, one of the reasons why, why V8, their JavaScript engine is very fast. And it is this engine that is built into Chrome browser. It is also open source and it's the same engine which powers Node.js because if you have the engine, you can run JavaScript everywhere. It doesn't have to be a browser, right? Of course, Node.js has made some adjustments because we need certain functionalities when running it on a server, when creating a server, which we don't need in a browser and so on. But in general, Node.js is using this V8 engine to run JavaScript files, you give it to it. And this is how we use it on the server side. We create our logic in JavaScript and we execute it with Node.js, which is able to interpret it and, well, provide us with a server functionality. Indeed, it's very simple and very quickly done, and we will see this in the next video, to set up a server with Node.js. And it's uh, also a lot of fun. So we will see this in the future videos. This is how we run Node.js applications, or this is what Node.js is in a nutshell, of course. Now, I don't want to read too many comments. Oh, you forgot that and that. Yeah, of course, it's more complex than that, but you got to make, make a point somewhere. So this is how Node.js functions. Now, one important question is, why would we use Node.js? Is it better than, let's say, Ruby, PHP, ASP.NET, anything like this? Is it worse? It depends. On what does it depend? Well, there are certain advantages and disadvantages. A huge advantage of Node.js is, well, it's JavaScript code. Therefore, if you're used to JavaScript from, let's say, front-end development, you don't have to learn a completely different new language. You can use the same language, and if you switch frequently between front-end and back-end tasks, you don't lose your context each time. You don't have to get back into PHP and then back into JavaScript, but you stay in the same context. So that is a not too forgotten advantage that you can stay in one language and that you can really excel in one language instead of learning 10 different ones. So this really is uh, an advantage. Another advantage is, is that it is non-blocking, which means it uses one thread but is asynchronous by nature so it is very fast too it's very good at handling multiple multiple thousands of requests at the same time what it's not that good at though is handling a single data intensive request there are better languages for stuff like that 
It can be slow, it's not fast in every situation, but it's generally fast when, yeah, when serving multiple clients at the same time, multiple requests at the same time. Another disadvantage is even though Node.js now has a couple of years on its back, it's still not even close as mature as let's say Ruby or PHP or .NET is. It is still very new even though it has matured a bit and therefore, well, getting into it can be a bit hard. It's in development constantly. So there, it's, it's a very dynamic language and you won't find the, that many resources that you might find on more mature languages. So that are the disadvantages and advantages you might think about. But overall, I have to say it's a lot of fun. It fits this channel obviously well, as we now came from Angular 2 and dive directly into Node.js. And yeah, I like working with it. And I hope you will like it too after having seen this complete series. In the next video, we're going to start with setting up our Node.js environment, which is very easy, and writing our first application. See you there. Bye.